is Sheltek and welcome back for a new video. Today I'm going to show you a budget mechanical keyboard that's got a lot of the same bells and whistles of more expensive keyboards. This keyboard runs for around 60 bucks and could be your gateway into the mechanical keyboard arena. So I'll do a quick unboxing, go through the features, check out the RGB, take a look at the switches and keys, check out the software and tell you what I liked and disliked about the Techware Spectre Pro mechanical keyboard. So this is it, the 104 key Spectre Pro backlit mechanical keyboard. It runs for $59.99 on Amazon right now and is available with a choice of one of three switches. Blue, brown, and red. The one I have today is the Aoimu brown switch version which would be more tactile and medium sounding choice for keyboards. Now let's see what's in the box. Open up the black and white techware box. In the side pocket we have some accessory bag with some extra switches and pullers. Then we have a braided USB-A to USB-C cable. Nice to see that it's a detached cable that comes with this keyboard. And then we have the Spectre Pro full-size keyboard itself which comes in at a solid 1.17 kilograms or 2.5 pounds. Dimensions are 450 by 147 by 35 millimeters. Has a black ABS frame, double shot ABS keycaps, volume knob and uses those out emu mechanical switches. On the side of the keyboard is an LED strip that circles the entire keyboard. The USB-C port is on the back. You have rubber feet in the bottom to protect your desk and stop sliding and two extendable feet on the back of the keyboard. Now taking a look at the double shot ABS keycaps, which are the keycaps that are designed so light can be shined through them, such as one of the 16 million RGB colors available with the Spectre Pro. These keycaps can be removed and replaced with your own custom keys or Automoon compatible keycaps. They feel sturdy, comfortable, and slightly texturized so your fingers shouldn't slip while gaming. Although the font on the keycaps do leave a lot to be desired as I found some keys did have black spots in the fonts and when lit up did mess up the uniformity of the font. As I mentioned earlier, this Spectre Pro uses brown Atomu mechanical switches, which is basically a compromise between red and blue switches. They have a tactile bump that helps limit mistakes, which can increase your speed when pressing. Brown switches produce a moderate amount of noise, so it could be an option for people worrying about sound. This keyboard can use all three types of switches, red, blue, and brown, and depends on your preference. The included keycap puller is helpful and pulls the caps off easily and Techware was kind to provide 4 extra switches so if you happen to break one. The switches on the Spectre Pro are hot swappable and removable with the included tool, although take your time removing them as you can damage the sides if you're using too much force. The Spectre Pro connects to your computer with a high quality detachable 1.8 meter long USB-C cable. This braided cable allows you to detach it with ease that in turn lets you move around the keyboard to free up space on your desk. The cable feels high quality and I hope it doesn't fray over time. A USB-C port like this on the back also gives you ability to use your own custom cables with this keyboard to truly make it your own. A really cool feature with this budget mechanical keyboard is the RGB. The 3 zone RGB allows you to toggle and customize various lighting modes for the keys, the underglow and the volume wheel. Now let's go through some of the RGB modes and key functions. All the modes are controlled by holding down the function key and pressing specific action keys. Escape will turn the RGB on and off. The RGB key will switch the color of the lighting to basically any color imaginable. Pause changes the sidebar LED modes and colors. Scroll lock will change the LEDs around the volume knob. And using the up and down arrows will increase or decrease the brightness of the colors. The left and right arrows will also decrease and increase the speed of the LED. With 12 modes, 5 levels and 5 speeds, you can really get this keyboard to match the lighting of your mood and desk setup. Those lighting modes can be cycled through using insert, home, delete, end, and page up and down keys. Pressing these keys one or two times will give you modes such as fixed color, breathing fixed color, reactive ripple, reactive single key, hurricane, diagonal wave, horizontal wave, pulse wave, Swirl, Waterfall, Raindrops, and Breathing Cycle Color. Another way to control all this RGB is use software available for download on the Techware website. This software allows you to do even more customization of the Spectra Pro. You can do all the RGB modes and control all the 16 million colors without physically touching the keyboard. 
On top of that, you have the ability to speed up your advance with the full end key rollover and up to 1000 Hz polling rate to give you the speed and responsiveness in high pressure gaming. The TechWare software also lets you make macros of specific key movements and save everything in three different profiles. So as I've been using the Spectre Pro over the last few weeks, I can tell you I'm very happy with it. Now this being my first mechanical keyboard, I really don't have much to compare with it, but compared to my old membrane keyboard, this is a nice step up. For a budget price of around $60, I don't think this is a risk for people like me new to switches and keys of a gaming keyboard. Of course, things I really love about the Spectre Pro is the RGB, the feel of the switches while gaming, the nice big volume control, and the customizable features like changing the keycaps or putting in different switches to suit my needs. A couple of things I don't like or wish was changed is the font and the keycaps. I feel they could be cleaner and without defects like the uneven color in the font. And I do miss a built-in wrist rest for those long hours at your PC. But all in all, these things can be added or changed with some purchases from Amazon. And if you wanna pick the Spectre Pro up for yourself, I'll also leave an Amazon link in the description. To watch reviews on other products that can improve the look and feel of your gaming setup, check out the videos right here on the screen. Also tell me what you think about this TechWare Spectre Pro mechanical keyboard. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.